So what are we making today? Uh, yummy. Yes, that's exactly what we're making. We're going to be making a smoothie, so a green smoothie. And I find, guys, that most of the time, <laughs> oh, most of the time people complicate it. I'm trying to try and keep this super fast because the kids are cranky. We're going to go to the park, right? We're going to go to the park. But first, before we go to the park, we have to have a snack, then park, and then N-A-P, baby. Um, so, guys, I find most of the time people complicate things with green smoothies. They put too much stuff in there. And not that it's too much stuff, but they just... A green smoothie doesn't have to be all that stuff. It doesn't have to be complicated. It doesn't have to have tons of ingredients. A green smoothie in my book is just, you know, green leafy vegetables. Yeah, you want kale, Swiss chard, collard greens. I mean, that's it, right? And what else do you need to add? Very important. Nana. Nana. You don't have to add banana, but but it's it's a sweet component. I personally, I think it's just bitter with the um, collard greens, which is why most people don't eat it unless you're down in the south and you're you're cooking it up with like tons of butter, salt, and, and stuff like that. So I don't even really, really know how healthy it is in that case. But um, green smoothies, you're eating it raw. You're getting the benefits of the raw vegetable that we you know, don't really eat that often, but should. It's high in fiber. One notable nutrient in there is magnesium, right? It helps to vasodilate it. It's used for so many different things in the body. Um, unbelievably healthy, very high mineral. They're superfoods, they're incredibly nutrient dense. To just get as much nutrition as you can cram into the body in a very, very healthy way, right? You know, as opposed to consuming like high fat stuff. That's, you know, very high calorie, but not really nutrient dense. So anyway, we're gonna get started on this, guys. Green leafy, collard greens, Swiss chard, kale, any one of those, and then a little bit of uh, something for sweet mango or pineapple. Um, pineapple. You know, but I like banana best, right? What do you think? Uh, um, um, I think banana's the best. And then after that, you can add anything you want, but just these two ingredients, add water to taste. So uh, all you really need is, you need a blender that's powerful enough to pulverize the green leafies. Um, so they're kind of cranky, so I'm gonna try and keep this fast, but um, you can kind of see the splatter barks all over the blender on purpose. I was gonna clean it. <laughs> and Nelly will kill me for actually filming this, but I, you know, I wanted uh, you guys to know that I actually use this thing. And it's not just some sparkly, out of the box blender that I happen to use in a, in a video. So anyway, look, there's kale, banana. He asked for apple, so I added apple. You know, you wanna be paying attention to how sweet it is. Uh, you don't wanna be putting too much fruit, although there's different views. I mean, you know, you're not gonna get diabetes from eating too much fruit. Um, you know, it's still extremely healthy. For the purpose of this video, we're trying to capitalize on the green leafies, which are incredibly high in nutrients, but very, very low calories relatively. So it's that balance, right? You, you wanna try and eat a lot of that. Uh, and that's that's primarily why they're so incredibly healthy. The other advantage of blending as opposed to juicing, which I can get into, but essentially it's the fiber. By blending it whole, you're gonna be um, getting all of the fiber as well. Okay. It's okay. You wanna drink some smoothie? Yeah. Okay. Uh, Rachel, let's see, yeah. Nah, nah. Whoa, it's gonna spill all over the place. Look at her go with that, she just loves it. I hope you can get this. Kids just love it, you know, green. Right, here you go. There you go. It's delicious, it really, really is, it's delicious. Now this has a deep dark color, if you can see it. Uh, I'm gonna show you some tricks in some other videos how to um, do what everybody else does, which is make it a little bit more complicated, but not really, just adding in a few things. You know, how do you get that creamy texture and how do you add certain flavors? But you see, for kids, you really don't need to make it that complicated at all. And this is it. This is where you get the maximum health benefit. You know, adding in this or that because it's more nutritious, you know, or it adds nutri um, nutritional value to it. Yeah, that's great, but you also, in a lot of cases, are adding calories. You know, and it, you know, hopefully you're living a very active um, lifestyle, physically active, but y you don't need to. I mean, this is a nutritional powerhouse, just, you know, two, three ingredients, that's it. I mean, really just the one ingredient, just the kale alone, raw kale. How often do you eat that? You know, collard greens, dandelion leaf. You know, check these out in your grocery store. Um, most of you probably just pass right by it. Uh, some of you have already experienced it and, um, you know, once you try it, or if you have tried it, uh, hit me up on the comment section. Let me know what your favorite smoothie is, what you've tried the works. Cheers. Cheers. Oh. This, yeah. Look. Okay. 